Hi, right, I'm Chris Chang. Uh, I was born in Jamaica. Um, my mom is Jamaican and my dad is Chinese. And I grew up in my, my dad's family, uh, Chinese family. Uh, my mom and my dad never got married, so my mom was not in the picture. She never lived with me. Um, and during that time, uh, growing up in Jamaica, like religion was never a part of our family. Um, and then as I uh, grew a little older, my dad decided, hey, we're leaving Jamaica and we're going to be moving to America to pursue a better life. Fast forward a little bit, graduate, I'm working um, for this company in New Hampshire, living in Medford, driving back and forth to uh, New Hampshire, like 50 miles a day. Then they hire uh, uh, this guy from California, he moves to Malden, and so he and I started driving together, commuting back and forth. So, so all we do, all we can do is just talk, right? So we share each other's lives, we share what's going on, we share about work, all sorts of stuff, right? Uh, and next thing I know, like, this is crazy. Like, there's got to be something else other than just work, pay bills, save money for retirement, die. Like, there's got to be something else than that. I felt like there was a void with that whole American dream pursuit. So um, I was invited to uh, an event at uh, my friend's church where I'd, I could come and with my questions about faith, talking about like, what is Christianity? Why do people believe what they do? And at the very end of that time, was, uh, there was a question I was faced with that I needed to answer. It was either, is Jesus a liar, a lunatic, or he's telling the truth about who he is? And I had to make that decision for myself. And I made a conscious decision during the course of that time. Like, Jesus is not a liar and he's not a lunatic. He's got to be telling the truth. So with that, I, I, I accepted who he was. There was like a mental conscious decision that I was making for that, 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 that moment in time. So after I made my conscious decision to accept Jesus, um, I was invited to go to church on Sunday with my friend Matt. Um, and so when I went to church after service, um, driving home, driving down to uh, Main Street, um, out of the corner of my eye, I see this boy and he's got a dog on a leash and he's standing on the sidewalk. To get in the corner of my eye, I'm driving through the intersection and then I, I, it, it uh, hits me, right? I started emotionally. I was bawling, snots, everything. And then it, a voice, I hear this voice say, you are that boy um, and I am that dog. And I'm like, what the heck was that? And then the, the, the voice in my head said, spell dog backwards. And I felt like there's a whole bunch of stuff that was just rushing and where God, I felt like God was saying like, I've been with you from the beginning. I've been protecting you. I've been leading you. Just like the boy's got the leash and the dog's protecting him on the side of the road, not leading him into traffic, into like a dangerous situation. So looking back at it, you know, I know, I'm not that little boy that was standing on the side of the road. And I know that God isn't a dog on a leash. It just was a communication to me about where I was at the time. It was very personal and it was very impactful to me. And God meets us where we're at. And he communicates to us so that we know for, without a shadow of a doubt that it's him. Situations haven't changed in my life. My perspective on things have changed. And I think that's, that, that is the power of Christ in me. That's the power of Jesus coming to this earth, living a life we couldn't live, dying for our sins so that we can have a relationship with Him and the Father and the Holy Spirit. But its story doesn't end there because on the third day, Jesus rose and He's alive. And He's alive today and He wants a relationship with you and with me and with everyone. And so that is the beauty of the gospel. And that is the beauty of why we tell our stories. 